with the Yo-Ho-Ho, -Ho, it's Tail of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart Super Circuit. In the last video, we beat the Star Cup, and in this video, it's time for the Special Cup. Lakeside Park, Broken Pier, Bowser Castle 4, and Rainbow Road. The fan favourite. So let's hop straight into Lakeside Park, not Riverside Park, Lakeside Park. It is quite the confusing name, and just like Riverside Park, it can screw you over completely. There are jumps in this course, which will just utterly wreck your progression on the course. I got a mushroom, let's find a suitable place to use it like now. Are we coming up to... I'm missing a lot of coins here, I should be getting more. Yeah, no, that's not the bit with the fatal jump after all. I was mistaken, it's here. If you go too far and go on that boost ramp, at a bad time, you'll just go shooting over onto a previous part of the course. Try your darndest to avoid that happening, and that's one lap. Got 16 coins, and whoa, volcano erupting! Oh my! It looked bad and devastating enough that the volcano was seeping so much lava, and now it's gone kaboom. Or perhaps a flying shot! I haven't used that in one of my own videos in a while. I haven't used it at all in this Let's Play and didn't even use it once in Robot Wars Metal Mayhem. I have used it a fair bit on my guest appearances in other people's Let's Plays mind, but not in my own Let's Plays, so there's one for you. Of our lightning! Now I can finally explain this item. Yeah, lightning, you would only typically get it in like 8th place or whatever. But if you do get lightning, it will strike every racer on the course with a lightning bolt and they will be shrunk to a small size. They can be battered out of the way easier and of course they will move a lot slower as you would expect. So that's basically everything that the lightning does. Ideally you're supposed to get a lot of coins in this first race because generally the whole cup in general I've used in no, no, <laughs> oh no, no, oh why, oh what, what am I gonna finish in now? Six. I'll see you when I'm back at the same point. Okay, I'll go from about here because there's also a little gimmick of this course I haven't explained. When the volcano does another eruption, little balls of ember fight. What? Oh my god! Alright, so we're back where I was before. I've decided that I would just rather post commentate this, as I've had numerous failed recordings at this special cup because it is rock solid basically. And I figured I'd be able to concentrate more on the gameplay if I just post commentated. So yeah, that was right at the end of the Riverside Park race. Lakeside Park. I came second, but I got 44 coins, which is amazing. And we're straight in here to Broken Pier, the special cup equivalent of Boo Lake. It's a fairly fun course, but it can also be quite hard to keep your coins because this place is very easy to fall off the edge in and there's not that many coins to begin with, and like that group of coins over there, you're never going to get those on a normal race. You would have to go out of your way to collect those. But yeah, there's lots of boos all over the place in here. I think they're just for aesthetics. By coincidence, in a lot of re failed recordings at this, I seem to have been affected by the boo item a lot. I was thinking it was actually some kind of Shy Guy Teepee style gimmick of the stage, but... I'm now thinking it's just a coincidence as it did the exact same thing as the boo item would do, used against you, i.e. it would slow you down considerably and take a lot of your coins. Yeah, the boo does r slow races down in this game, but it doesn't in Mario Kart DS. It will slow races down in Mario Kart 64 and Super Mario Kart as well. So I'm already here on the second lap with 22 coins and now the third lap started. So if you've got an observant eye, you'll see that shortcut to the left. I don't think it's worth it because it's quite hard to take and it's on the outside route and that's another shortcut there. 
which you just caught, and this is the only lap where I didn't take it, right? Oh no, I'm thinking of that. No, I didn't take that other shortcut at all. But yeah, lots of jumps, there's lots of edges you can cut. Just try to not miss any coins by being in the air. I finished this race with 29 coins in first place. I was happy with that. Should explain that I'm playing as Peach. She's the joint fastest character in the game along with Toad. And generally that makes her the best because she's got the acceleration to match it. Lots of eerie faces in the background of that course. Now this is Bowser Castle 4. The only Bowser Castle that didn't come back for another Mario Kart game from Mario Kart Super Circuit. And honestly, with good reason. I don't like Bowser Castle 4. I mean, this part of the course where there's lots of pits just at random, I don't really like it. There's lots of walls you can slam into. And it's generally not as exciting as the other three. And obviously, being in the Special Cup, it's quite hard. See, I'm in fifth place. Gotta batter these players out of the way with green shells. Did so effectively. Hey Bowser, it's your course. You mind getting out of the way? We've got a little Y turn here. You got two paths. It probably seems obvious, but you want to take the one on the right. Going on the left will only take you further out. There's coins there. They're quite hard to get in one straight line. But they're possible. Now what is that thing in the background? Is it an atomic bomb or something? The atomic bomb. You can burn whole buildings, the atomic bomb. If someone is careless. So there was two rows of coins I've just gone past, so I can only get one one of those rows of coins on the final lap. Oh dear, that's a missed opportunity, but it doesn't matter because I did get 44 coins in Lakeside Park. I mean, come on, 44. I've got a red shell, so if anybody catches up to me, they're just going to take a bashing. There's some robotic turtles, or Mecha Coopers by their real names. Why? I don't know. But yeah, if you drive into a robotic turtle, it'll work like a crab. No, not a crab. Well, yes, a crab or a shell. A sidestepper, if you prefer. I don't know if they are the classic Mario Brothers enemy. But yeah, they'd cause you to spin out if you don't hit B at the right time. I've been keeping this red shell with me the whole time. Nobody's bothered catching up to me. We yeah, go over that grid, and then I never managed to take that boost pad to the right there. It is obviously quicker to take that, but I never did. Go right, of course. And then, I, it, theoretically, that jump could screw you over if you mess it up, but I didn't. However, I did drive into a Mecha Cooper, and that did almost screw me up, but I managed to stay in first. But then I drove into a swamp and then Luigi appeared. I was scared as all hell, but I crossed the line with 26 coins in first place. Goodbye, Atomic Bomb. It can burn whole buildings. Should probably burn up that whole course, I don't like it. Oh, I hope my viewers know the song I'm referencing. And yes, I did just call it a song. Oh my god, Tale of the Toast to use that word. But here we are in Rainbow Road, the fan favourite. The ever so difficult. If you look to the left in the background, you can see Bowser's Castle from Paper Mario here for some reason. I can't imagine why they chose that of all the Bowser Castles to appear, but hey, well, I guess it's the only one that's capable of going into space. I don't know why there is a Bowser Castle here on Rainbow Road in general, but it looks nice, so I'm not going to complain. What I am going to complain about is how are there clouds up here? Not just the clouds in the background, but there's also lightning clouds, which I believe affect you if they zap you with their lightning. But it's hard to get zapped by them. There's a row of boost pads there. Make your best effort to take them. What sets this rainbow road apart from the others? By the way, there's... Oh, the shortcut's a bit further away yet. Now try and take that corner quite... Honestly, you want to take that corner earlier than I did. You can jump that whole thing. And I got affected by a boo here, it slowed me down. But yeah, the thing that sets this Rainbow Road apart is the bouncy edges. You drive onto the edge of the course, it'll cause your cart to bounce up. This can make for some cool corner cuttings, or it can just screw you over. That surrounds most of the course. There's a little bit of a wall where the finishing line is, and a bit after the finishing line there's no wall at all, and here. But for most of the course it's the bouncy. I can imagine the world record for this place being amazing. 
Now Luigi is way ahead of me here, but I get amazing luck. Triple red shells in the in second place. I fall off, but I can still fire my third red shell, and then I get a fourth one. And yet I needed all that to overtake him. Which is quite amazing. I was scared for my life at that point. But I didn't quite fall off. And then suddenly Donkey Kong is part of this race. I'm like, what? Donkey Kong, you're not part of this race. But watch this. Oh yes. By a split second, probably. Just overtook him. Just. I mean, that was... Yep, there's 0.15 of a second in it. That was quite the finish. But yep, we're now seeing the carts drive up to the podium. And then don't get crushed by this thing. And boot! Yep, we didn't get crushed. We top it. There's the giant cheap cheap. Same animation as always. There's our gold trophy. We got a rank C. I wanted to wait until it had actually appeared. But yeah, 115 coins. That is very good for the Special Cup, if I do say so myself. And I think I only got 16 coins in Rainbow Road. Now look what happens. A credit sequence. And again, most LPers use the credit sequence as a way to reflect on their LP, but I'm not going to do that, because this LP is not even halfway done. Be so, let me explain now, finally, what that super unlockable thing is. Oh, this credit takes place in Snowland. I think it takes place in a random course or something. Because I seem to remember practicing on my 3DS and I was in Yoshi Desert here. But the game conveniently picked my favourite course for the credits of the LP. But yeah, time to tell you what the unlockable is. So, as I said before, you need to get first place on all cups, then go back into those cups and get 100 coins in them. It doesn't matter where you place. And then, you will unlock. Say if you met that requirement, i.e. 100 coins on the Mushroom Cup, you would unlock another Mushroom Cup. Now let me explain a bit more about this Mushroom Cup. This Mushroom Cup is the very same Mushroom Cup from the SNES game, Super Mario Kart. And yes, this game features every single course from Super Mario Kart for the SNES. I mean, that is a brilliant unlockable, don't you agree? I mean, you thought you were done after these just five cups, and then the game, after making you work a bit to unlock them, chucks a whole other five cups at you. And to add to that, they're all from the SNES game. That is one of the best rewards in video gaming history, surely. And the penguins are spinning in delight. Another thing I have to say about this game's credit sequence, they go on for absolutely ages! Now I pressed the B button there because I thought I'd be able to change the course. No, it just closed the credits. Anyway, see you in the next episode where I'll be taking on SNES Mushroom Cup. Bye.